you know, I think a lot of people, including myself, a lot of the time you do think, well, it's just, you know, change, it's not going to happen. It's, it's too enmeshed, we're too bogged up, and then suddenly, bang, in the blink of an eye, everything's different, and suddenly things are happening that you didn't think could happen. Again, like we kept like coming out of World War II and that vision that changed our society in such an extraordinary way. But, and, but also on a, on a more um, local, literally local level, the possibility of what communities can do. Um, again, I think it's something that was already going on, but it's been uh, revealed and kind of pumped up during this crisis. You know, early on, the first reactions of people in those first couple of weeks were, how can we help? How can we help? What can we do? Everyone was sort of, there was such an appetite to help within your community, to help those who are most vulnerable, to help those who are most isolated. Um, and, and the sense of what it is possible for a community to do when it is given the opportunity and the kind of permission in some ways as well to go, yeah, you are allowed to do this. You're allowed to go and check on that neighbor who you don't speak to, you never hear anything about, like you've got permission to do it. Um, that is an extraordinary thing. And so I think um, part, of, uh, part of what has already started flipping is the, the sense of what a mobilized community can achieve. The flip.